Dozens more cases of the coronavirus confirmed today here in South Korea, most of them again in the city of Daegu. And there have been now been nine deaths in the country so far. With the details, we have our Hongyu on the line. Yu, Daegu is the epicenter of the outbreak in Korea. That's right. The number of newly confirmed patients jumped by 60 from the previous day, raising the total number of cases to 893 as of Tuesday morning. The majority of the newly confirmed cases, 49 of them, are from the southeastern city of Daegu and the surrounding Gyeongsangbuk-do province. Out of all confirmed cases nationwide, 499 come from Daegu, and more than half of those cases were traced to members of the religious group Shincheonji. Local authorities said they're stepping up efforts to track down the remaining Shincheonji members for a thorough investigation. According to the Central Disaster Headquarters of the Korea Centers for Disease Control, it will receive the personal identification number, phone number, and home address of the members. It also urged believers of these religions to stay home. And as cases continue to surge in Daegu, the government will prepare 1,600 more beds for COVID-19 patients by Sunday. Meanwhile, one more death was reported on Tuesday, raising the number of coronavirus-related deaths in South Korea to nine. The most recent victim is a 68-year-old female in Daegu who had been hospitalized for pneumonia. After she died, it was confirmed that she had coronavirus, and the health authorities found out that she had contact with one of the Shincheonji patients. The domestic death toll could rise as six patients are in critical condition and 14 are relying on respirators. Now, you, South Korea's health authorities, of course, are working 24-7 to try and contain the virus. What measures are they taking now? Well, Prime Minister Chong Tae-gyun headed to the virus-hit city of Daegu after a cabinet meeting this morning to lead the government's containment efforts. During the meeting, Chong said that this week is a critical juncture to assess whether COVID-19 will spread nationwide or not, and that preemptive and active measures are needed more than ever. In an effort to stabilize the supply of face masks, the government limited mask exports to 10% of the total production. The government is also taking control of the distribution of half of those masks produced in Korea. This measure will apply from Wednesday to the end of April. Back to you, Devin. All right, Hong Yu reporting there. Thank you.